quick overview would be, I'm gonna go on on the case, just that was, was gonna go, I uh, was, I'm gonna go three points. So I'm first go on case before anything. So going on solvency, um, just the solvency is like the bill. The bill of sixty one will save the children and any and anyone in the in the trafficking position. Winslow Roy of uh, the Wichita Eagle, Schmitz Schmitz and Senate Bill sixty one, if approved, will dramatically change how policy how policy courts and social workers treat victims of trafficking. Schmitz was was the instrumental creator of the state's first human trafficking law in two thousand seven. Next, the Senate supports Kansas on trafficking. Jackson Rod. Um, on KSMT.com, April 22nd, 2015. The Senate has unanimously passed legislation to help victims of sex trafficking. The vote came after the bill had been stalled for weeks in the, in the partisan dispute over abortion. The gridlock also delayed a confirmation vote of President Barack Obama's Attorney General nominee. A, de a, deal of in, a deal of resolved abortion issues was reached earlier this week. The bill, the bill passed 99 to nothing Wednesday afternoon. Focus, next, focus on the re redirecting resource for health traffic victims, Jackson Rod, the KSNT.com. It would increase law enforcement's resources to go after sex trafficking perpetrators and would create a new fund aimed at helping victims among those voting for the bill was Kansas Senator Jerry Warren, who, who had a statement after the vote said, for victims of the modern sex slavery, for victims of modern slavery who suffer such horrible abuse at the hands of human traffickers, the Senate, the Senate could not afford to wait any longer to vote on the Justice of Victims of Trafficking Act. With the trafficking bill out of the way, the Senate will vote on Thursday for something totally different. Next, the brothels will make the, the brothels will make women, 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 sex, women of sex working feel the brothels will make women of sex working feels. Um, Brandon's Barbara, Nevada's legal brothels it makes workers feel safer. NewYorkTimes.com. Illegal brothels employees report that they feel safe, are free to come and go, and are bound only by their contract. On only bound by their contract of the brothels workers we, sur we, we surveyed, 84 percent said that their job felt safe. Workers report that they felt safe largely because the police, the police, employers, and co-workers were there to protect them. This uh, this evidence I would want to cross apply to 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 my opponents to my opponents approach saying that brothels are unsafe and these brothels will keep the will take a big percentage and keep keep perpetuating this whole vision of criminalizing criminalizing the criminalizing the prostitutes. I don't I don't think that that would happen if, if we're already getting the same Nevada evidence that they're that they're using. It's saying that the people that are the the sex workers that are working in these brothels are feeling safe that they feel that they actually have a voice. This this evidence should be shown as it outweighs. I would also I would also want to I would also want to say that. My opponent stood here and said that they would they would rather advocate for the status quo. They would rather advocate for the status quo and just let these sex workers go in the underworld. And that's the best way of living. In the underworld, I just I, I just gave like about five cards on how sex trafficking is a horrible way to go. The sex trafficking is in the underworld. So I would want to cross apply that also to to the evidence that he applied. So I would want to chunk that and cut that off. Um, going on. It's other evidence where it says um, brothels are safer environments for women to get away from danger and to create a business. Brains Barbara, um, New York Times. Our research found that women came to the legal brothels from a wide variety of situations. Some were supplementing low paying service jobs, some were escaping hustle and danger, illegal sex works. As my opponent stated, yes, it is true. A lot of people do go this because go down this route because they just can't have the money to feed themselves or need it just because of the necessity. But it also goes because it's also for dangerous illegal sex works and it's also a different type of hustle. So these women are also being are there's there's a big proportion of women that are going into that are going into this field just because they are being forced into it. Um, Prostitu uh, prostitutions are not considered part of the society. Wal um, Waltman Max on the New York Times. The wrong people are arrested in the United States when prostitutes when, when prostitutes persons are criminals. Their, their situation of discrimination and subordinate barriers protection from uh, um, official complicity in their victim in the victimization under the 14th Amendment. This is basically saying that if it if we keep criminalizing police, if we keep criminalizing prostitution, all we're doing is giving a more of an open way on these women to get beaten and abused. As much as my, my opponent wants to stand here and say that this is not really for women's rights and this is not for, and we're not really advocating for that, we are actually are doing the same thing. Our evidence is showing that women women are being abused, women women are being abused and they're, be, and they're being perpetrated as criminals. 
Um, going on, going on to my next evidence where um, brothels give a voice for the sex workers to speak out against unfair working conditions. Brenda Barba, Brenda Barba, New York Times. There's, there's certainly room for improvement, and particularly enforcing different. Um, differences between independent contractors and employees, women flock to brothels with the best working conditions, putting pressure on, putting pressure on more exploited manager, uh, managers, just like in any job. Workers, workers with more education and resources were better able to protect their, their rights. So by giving them a voice in these, in these licensed brothels where, are, where they are going to be regulated, it gives women to have a voice. These, these sex workers are going to have a voice to speak out on, on to speak out on anything that's being abusive towards them. So that basically means that this is this can open a gateway to actually having prostitutes to be unionized. That would actually be more beneficial to to not only to the sex workers, but it would also be beneficial to to the economy. Um, So going on, on to going on to the situation where it says that that uh, where it is, that that my opponent stood up here and said that this is a uh, survival strategy that this is the reason why people are going into this field I would like to I would like to apply that yes people go into this field because of the necessity that they're forced into as you just saw in my in the beginning of the evidence where I should talk about Wichita State but with what's going on in Wichita. Trafficking over there is going on with um, with children. People are being forced into this. It was a big crisis. That's the reason the Wichita hacked. Wichita was was so adamant about passing the Bill 61. So my, my opponent's evidence is solely based on other countries. I'm talking about evidence that's going on in the United States. Don't let them just come up here in, in the next round and just talk about other things that are going on in other countries. I'm talking about what's going on here in the United States. We are solving for trafficking at this moment that's going on in the United States. I would want the Wichita the Wichita pill to be a pass through all throughout all the United States when we leave, when we legalize these brothels. Thank you.